and we'll go ahead and get started with Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter. So this is a really cool game. I think the last time we played it was over a year ago. Little DP's had this as his sub-block game for a while, and then switched it to a couple other games. And since we've beaten those now, it's been Inside and Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. It's been a long time since we played it. This is a game that's focused around New Game Plus, and we haven't played it long enough to get to the New Game Plus, but the idea is you're exploring this dungeon, you're gonna beat the game fairly quickly, but you don't actually beat the game. You then have to go back and start a New Game Plus to get further on, because there's like this time limit that's always running. Um, I've heard of one other game that's like that. It's, uh, was it Final Fantasy XIII? One of the sequels is very New Game Plus focused. Um, it's a really interesting idea for a game series, because like, New Game Plus has kind of gotten ridiculous in certain games. So to build an entire game around it is a really cool idea. Yeah, maybe your freedom hating countries. Oh right, we got down here and there was this just dragon corpse. This game is unusual for a Breath of Fire game that the setting is very sci-fi. The other games in the series are very fantasy oriented. Let's see if I can get further downstairs here. There's anywhere else that I can explore. The combat system in this game is super cool too. I don't have an actual map in this room, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, right? It's an endless cycle of consumerism, Leon. Yeah, we're just built around the idea of multiple playthroughs. It's interesting. We'll spend our requisite. 15 minutes figuring out where the hell we were since we played this for a year. I watched a little bit of the end of the VOD, but it's not terribly helpful. We're basically exploring a dungeon. There's L2 to escape. Lose some money, but it's better than dying. I see. This is going up. I thought that our intent was to always go down. It might have been that I came up here just because there was a save point, but I'll see what's back this way if it's empty or if there's more stuff to run into. Yeah, that's my understanding the game, the playthroughs are pretty different here. Just because when you restart, you keep all your stuff, and that lets you get a lot further into the, the dungeon than you would otherwise. The fact that stuff's updating on the map makes me think that I haven't been here before, but I guess we'll see. It's a monster in a cage. That's cool. Certainly haven't been in this room. There's loot in here. Dynamite. AP plus. Caring too much. What can I drop? That's a phoenix down. There's 100 HP. Everyone's at pretty much full health right now. Hmm. I guess I'll drop the tonic just to see what this thing is. I could always swap to it. I don't know if I'm throwing it away or if I'm just dropping it on the ground. Looks like I'm throwing it away. Bummer. Increase max AP by one. Now let's do that for the main character. Since it was consumable anyway, I wish I could have picked up the old item, but what you gonna do? Cute. Don't think I have any control over the camera in this game, unfortunately. So don't know that there's actually anything interesting in this corner back here. chest. Oh, there's a tonic. Oh, that works. <laughs> I'm not down one tonic. Because you kind of have to leave the dungeon occasionally to deposit your stuff, and I think it's somewhat of a roguelike in that the floors are randomly generating. Identify. Oh, cool. Somebody identifies stuff in the dungeon. Looks like that's a downgrade, so let's go ahead and sell it. That one's kind of an upgrade. Weapon locker. 
find gear. That's showing me how much it's worth, I guess. And I can swap between multiple ones at a time. Okay, I understand. Because my Buster Sword plus one is a better item right now. Gotcha. Item locker, I should go ahead and take advantage of right now. I don't think I need any of those things. <laughs> I think you might be able to turn it off, Bravo Gable, if you go to the little gear icon. Hit edit appearance. And it lets you skip all these cutscenes immediately because I think they're counting against your time, or rather, it's because it's new game plus focus, you're likely to go through it several times. Hey Kevin, how's it going? How is your Tuesday treating you? Thank you, Kevin. It's very exciting. I'm looking forward to the sub button. It'll be fun getting some people who uh, want to use their Twitch Prime. <laughs> Just donate again, it'll change the badge. Maybe it'll be one you like better. <laughs> but I think you can shut it off under edit appearance. Main character Ryu is a sound protagonist, blue haired main character with a sword, some kind of dragon power from all the Breath of Fire games. Yeah, they haven't announced when sub buttons are going to roll out. It's probably once the affiliate program finishes rolling out. We got the first invite wave. I'm guessing they sent it out based on concurrent viewers, because the last waves are going to be people that have like three concurrent viewers and 50 followers, just the minimum requirements. So there'll be a lot of people in that category, I think. What is with the koala face lady and the eyeball monster? Dunny? All I need is a reputation. I have to promote Cheer with beer. <laughs> I must. We're 1 out of 81.92 D ratio. We don't really know what the D ratio represents, but it we know it changes whenever we go... whenever we do a um, New Game Plus. We haven't really figured out how that fits into the story, if it's just something that's naturally about our characters or what the deal is. Face lady, Wargenic Trinity. Oh no, prop can't avoid it. Forever tainted. Gotta have your train battle suplex the thing. I've seen this in a movie. Really? Uh, so the y Yakuza games are, <coughs> excuse me, aren't they like Grand Theft Auto, but in Japan? Or am I misclassifying them? <laughs> RPGs with beat 'em up battle system. Are they connected to Shenmue in some way, Yukupo? Everything you love and hate about Japan. I'll choose you.
Dude, what is happening here? Dragon's Power. Thousand Year World Destroyer. Um, we might be getting our first New Game Plus here, I'm not sure. Because we didn't run out the clock yet, but I assume it happens in the story at least once before then. I see. Looks like it's not going to force a new game plus right now. So much of the main character being silent, or I just missed that. Thought he wasn't, he wasn't. Oh, that's kind of cool, Kevin. Being really serious about something fundamentally silly. I love that about Japanese media. It feels very sincere, no matter how goofy it is. Like, they'll treat a game like Katamari Damage to you with extreme reverence. Like, this is the most important thing in the world. They deal with organized crime. Okay. It's, uh... Unexpected. Don't know if she has anything I need. Hey Raker, how's it going? Do I want to save? Limited save tokens. I don't remember where I can see my save tokens. I have no some new game plus. I don't think I have one, do I? No. Thanks, Raker. Appreciate it. I'm really glad that Twitch added that. They've needed a little stepping stone to partner for a while. Awesome. Need the treasure key for this floor. Okay, can do. Don't have my party member anymore. He was kind of a dick, though, so. How final are your final exams? Do you have a break after taking them? That seems bad. That was creepy. Whoa! Going all super Saiyajin on me. What's what you doing here, are you? That's the thing we saw in the cutscene. He's like a dragon man. At least I assume he's a dragon man. They keep talking about the dragon power, and every blue haired protagonist of the Breath of Fire game has something to do. Either they are a dragon, or they're descended from dragons. Those aren't dropped frames, the game is actually doing that, and it's slow motion. <laughs> I'm not sure I know who this character is. I don't recognize her. She's got a cool, like, magic rune on her head. I thought it was everything anyone in general likes and hates about Japan. Leon, are you specifically? Spirit Charge. Actually, the combat system here, like I said, it's really cool. You have a, an amount of AP that you can spend to both move and attack, but what a really cool thing is that you can step it back. Like, the green circle is how much AP you have to move if you reach the edge of the circle. I guess it's not all the AP you have to move, but it's the furthest you're allowed to move. And you lose AP based on the number of steps you take from your starting point. And I think there's a button you can press that reverts to your starting point. So you can really think about the perfect place to be standing to minimize your AP usage. Um, which I like. You know, it lets you step it back, which a lot of games that have systems similar to this don't let you do.
Hey. Thanks, Apex. Appreciate it. How you been, man? Actually kind of bad that I knocked him back there. Mistake, affiliate. Did he just steal one of my attacks? What a dick move. I don't know if I'm strong enough to beat this guy yet. Let's see. This is the one that has a chance to do a bunch more damage. Maybe we'll be okay. We'll see how much he hits before next turn. So was this game's battle system is so different from all the other Breath of Fire games, which are just kind of traditional turn-based JRPGs. Cutting it on damage. Do I have items I can use? I should probably use one of these. I feel like I'm in a bad situation right now. I don't know if that actually costs AP, though. Awesome. What have you been watching, Apex, out of curiosity? Premium Marsted content. Cyclops' anger explodes. Great. It's in a row. Can you not? Conscious. I, think I can use that on her because she's not a real character yet. I want to do vertical slash. Potentially two combo hits. That's it. Mm, that makes sense, Kevin. Yeah, Psychonauts is a really cool game. I feel like it's a, kind of a missed opportunity, though. Like, it would be really great as a kid's TV show or a book or a movie or something. Like, there's a lot of narrative design space in that story that you just don't really get to explore for budget reasons. Premiumist. Propagable knows with that premium bits badge that he can't get rid of. No regrets, right, Prop? Alright, I was kind of worried about that. Sounds like Tim Schafer kind of has a record of having really, really big ideas and then not being able to deliver on everything he wanted to do. Yeah, Psychonauts 2 would be cool. What's that thing on her leg? Is she like a cave slave? I don't know if that's actually a thing. It's okay, I got it. Can you stand? This might be, is this Nina? There's like an angel named Nina in most of the um, Breath of Fire games, isn't there? She's got the things on her back. Hey, called it. She's pretty different looking too. Voice, you can't. Is an angel lady. Have to get out of here. Toad's called it. Are you an angel? God. Man, that line is so bad. Why, George Lucas? Why? Really? That's funny. 
D dash, seal of D dash release, move mode D dash, press R2 to activate D dash to knock aside monsters without triggering an encounter. Good for avoiding fights. I like all those words. D presumably stands for dragon. Cool, looks like it lets you run through areas pretty quickly as well. Check out, it's in this northwest corner here. Guessing I did not get a full heal compliments of my new party member, and that she probably doesn't have any kind of special abilities herself. Right, because skills are bound to equipment in this game. Hmm. She does not appear to be a healer. Or at least she doesn't have any healing abilities yet. So I will use a heal kit on the main character. that to? Huh. So we're doing something. Drawing something nearby, maybe? Bug over there, maybe? No, bug doesn't seem to be connected to any of this. Just a cool looking bug. Magic Circle. Cast G Flare on other location spells to enchant an area. Uh, useful to restrict enemy movement and deal lots of damage on contact. Item vacuum. Press R2 to attract nearby items to you. Okay. That's cool. Want to get the preemptive strike. Extra turn for you. Just barely in range here. I don't have enough AP to do the combo, that's fine. Extra turn. Alright, so she's got this level 1 magic, G Flare. And it's targeted minor AoE, it looks like. She needs to walk forward a little bit. I really like that they let you plot that out before you actually start casting. I think it needs to be on an empty space, that's why it's not able to land here. I'll just pass her turn there, that's fine. God, no, she does not have any hit points, does she? I don't think I really have a way to taunt yet in this game. I might, maybe it's bound to my shield or something. Gotta keep enemies off of her if possible. Oh, it blocks the movement of enemies. That's cool. So I could use that to protect her. Presumably she can still move through it okay. I see. It lets you move further than your AP allows. There's the block. Did anyone have did anyone not have to refresh? Deathbringer. I think that just blocks movement, it doesn't also do damage. Yay! Hold up. At some point we're gonna run out of uh, resources and have to leave the dungeon and do the new game plus thing. Here's Bind. I think she's able to learn Ogre Slice. <laughs> Very astute, Travagable. You're not far off from the truth. It's definitely a business thing. 
Yeah, just so I can progress a little bit further. I may as well use all my items. I think I lose my consumables when I reset anyway. Are these guys like metal slimes or something maybe? So they're trying to teach me about blocking their movement out of here, right? Don't know what the maximum placement range is on this skill. She had gone earlier, maybe it would have been a thing. Guess I worked at a call center. And then got promoted into the testing department. It's interesting. She has a magic staff, but it's like a welding torch. It's really cool. It's a neat way to reimagine this character. I guess these guys are like tutorial cave squirrels that are meant to teach me about using her special ability to block enemy movement. I'm pretty sure I have at least one ability that's AoE. I know, right, Kevin? One of the things that I mention when I do that rotary talk about like what streaming is, like these are people who spend upwards of like five hours a day with me. I don't know if I spend that much time with my wife. <laughs> it's a pretty significant community event. Rice or baked potatoes? Question mashed potatoes. Meteor gonna destroy the earth? No big deal. Treasure key materialized. Alright, there's a place I can take that, right? Forget what bombs do. Other than the obvious. No, that sounds awful, Raker. <laughs> Tell you how accurate it is. Do not recommend call center work. Found the many question marks plus one. Okay, so we have to find an NPC who can identify that. I can try backing up. I thought I saw a uh, merchant NPC earlier. Yeah, that's a ticket. Please sell me some healing shit. God. At least I have a decent amount of money now. Yeah, I'll buy ten of them. I think I'll use them. Everything else it should be fine for now. I think the first time that we did a New Game Plus reset in this game, it was because we uh, ran out of money to buy consumable healing items and prevented us from exploring more. Potatoes. Yeah. Do a little dance to the cute music that obviously automatically plays whenever you cook something. I'm really bad about texture when it comes to things like potatoes. Like, the mashed potato is the worst possible texture in my mind, and I know that I'm missing out, but like mashed potatoes are probably really good because they basically just absorb the flavor of 
you know, whatever you're putting on them, gravy or what have you. But like, if I'm gonna eat potatoes, they pretty much have to be crispy or crunchy. Otherwise, I'm a, a princess about it. So like, mushy steak fries are yeah. I'm so sorry, Kupo. I'm aware of it. I, I'm I'm wrong. I know that I'm wrong. I know I'm missing out. She's that's pretty good attack, man. 90 damage. I'll take it. And I got to avoid taking damage. That's a cool use of this game's design space where you're um, taking advantage of an ability that is strictly positional in order to win fights without taking damage yourself. So we want to save more of Ryu's AP so he can like kite the enemies into her little fireballs, I think. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just that I didn't eat them right when I was a kid or something, but like seriously, mushy potatoes, the texture will make me gag. It's not even that I don't like the flavor of it or anything. I'm trying to think if there's something that I like that's mushy like that. There might be. Lurid dust. That sounds delightful. Sellable item. 50 zenny. A shield for you. That's exciting. I accidentally threw a bomb. That's okay. You can use them for something. These guys probably exist to catch Nina up in level. So she starts at level one. <laughs> yeah, Andrea's like that with eggs. Uh, she makes really good scrambled eggs, which she does it in a very specific way that apparently most people don't like. And I really like her eggs, but generally I'm not the biggest fan. Probably because of the texture. And again, I'm, I'm missing out because there's so many things that are egg focus, like breakfast burritos or really any sort of breakfast combination meal tends to be very egg focus. Yukupa, how do you, as a vegan, how do you deal with, uh, with eggs? They're just, they're in everything, right? Is there a good substitute for using it? It's used in cooking mostly because it like glues stuff together, right? For a little bit further He tried. Marie's about to die, jeez. He took the item that was on the ground, what an ass. Blood can be a substitute for eggs? Interesting. I got on a Wikipedia tangent the other day I'm trying to remember how this happened. What was I talking about? It's like. I ended up reading about um, black soup or black broth that the Spartans used to eat. It was basically just like blood soup. Ooh. But it was apparently super nasty and they just ate it for sustenance, they said. Extra attack, isn't he? Oh, shit, that's gonna be very bad. But I have the bind armor. Hard to go out to buy pre made things, but anyways, it's something to do. He should be vegetarian than vegan, I see. So close to being dead, and I don't think I can get him to walk into another fireball, unfortunately. I just save more of his AP so we can take advantage of Nina's crazy power. 
very strong if you can get them to walk in the fire, do the thing you're not supposed to do in an MMO. Hopefully that ends after this battle here. Later, right here, sleep well. Red dust, bomb back, it's nice. Try to heal. Although now, since I only have the thing that recovers 100 HP, it doesn't really make sense. Should have bought a couple of the cheaper ones. Plus, fantastic. I think that upgrades like this persist into New Game Plus playthroughs, but I'm not 100% sure about that. It might. Such a mild upgrade. Such a mild insult. It's not my Hermes. Not good. Oh, it's only the one spider though. I thought I was an aggro both of them there. And I got that bind armor. It's helping. I've already failed my first test is in cooking with Marstead and whatever that Persona 4 quiz was about making ginger chicken. Cool power it completely changes the way you fight in combat. It's not like, oh, she's a mage, she attacks from far away. Cool. There's actually a different way you want to play the game. I missed. It's okay. I love that her magic wand is like a welding torch. It's too cool. Be able to get some free damage with that. If I can cast multiples of these, totally can cast multiples. It looks like I can even get them to overlap each other a little bit. Yeah, what is that? Oh, that's magical. Just a small amount of damage actually taken by me there. Oh, that knocks him back, which is actually pretty good for the strategy I'm employing right now. Just depending on the enemy, can pretty much keep him from taking damage. This is really neat. Bloody factious, sir. We're going to be playing uh, Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter for about another 25 minutes before we switch to Darkest Dungeon. And then after Darkest Dungeon, I think we're just going to beat Fallout and not only spend a small amount of time on XCOM. Um, I'll figure out the total time loss today. We're going to make up Polar Brewski's sub-block on Thursday afternoon. Wake up. 25 zenny. Yeah. 
inventory limit's kind of interesting in this game. So chat explicitly excludes vampires. like that heal kit very much actually. So much so that I will drop this junk. And I will use that to heal. I'll wait till Nina gets a little bit lower on health and I'll use it on her. Hello. Back up, right? Let Nina place some fire pillars here. Vampires with the solar, okay. So David Boreanaz is an acceptable vampire in this. Uh... That leaves me with enough AP to get away if I hit three times. This regime. I can't quite make it on the next one again. Uh, kind of extend off the map, that's interesting. The long hallway is a specific trope at the end of a game before you're approaching the final boss. It doesn't apply to any hallway in the game. There we go. Nice. Red dust. Hey, now that's pretty nice actually, there's 30 party XP. Now if I recall correctly, party XP works a little bit differently. Because I think when you when you do a new game plus, it um it resets your level, but whatever you have banked in party XP sticks around, so you can choose to save it until a new game plus and start the new game plus at a much higher level. Because if you keep all your skills and gear but your level resets except for the party XP, which you can distribute separately. I think that's how it works. Cutscene. Oh, I'm holding her hand. She's the one that's been wrecking all these enemies. Hey, it's the koala face lady. She represents the koala face inside all of us. Trinity Ranger, you can't help her. Go and leave her with me. The only hope we have of saving this rotten world. I'll deal with criminals. Modeling hands is the hardest part. Long hallway trope is at the end of the game when there are no enemies. It doesn't necessarily need to be a hallway. There's a long hallway equivalent in um, Life is Strange, even though that game doesn't really have enemies traditionally. It's kind of a long segment that's intended to build dread that doesn't actually have any significant gameplay other than moving the character forward. He can't help you. 
Let's work together. Oh, really? Koala ladies and join my party? She tried to kill me before. Lin. Is there been a character named Lin in the other... Lin or Rin in the other Breath of Fire games? I never beat Breath of Fire 1, 2, or 3. I got pretty far, I think, in all three of them. One page added to your item list. Oh, thank god. Increases my encumbrance, basically. Trinity attack. You is missing. I see. This guy. It's a jerk friend. Secure it before coming back here. Best all like excuses, Bosh. Hmm. I wonder if she's the cargo. No matter what it looks like. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight him. They join your team or they die. That whole Dragon Ball Z friendship is magic thing where you make friends with all the old enemies. I bring up the map. Is that a thing that I can do? Oh, she's got a tail for some reason. No, I didn't do that. Call Soreness. Which way I've been. So we can go this way. There's a door I haven't reached off in this direction. Battle mode language commands. Combine attacks to strengthen attacks or change attack effects. Try new combinations to build and learn new commands. Move mode charge shot. An attack that knocks away enemies on the field. Hold the attack button to charge or release to fire. That's the charge shot. Okay. Yeah, there's a cave explorer bounty hunter lady with a superfluous tail. What other reason would there be? Level two shot. Out of my way. Guessing she said out of my way in Japanese there. Hey, hey. I don't know if I can quickly see their range. Reduces enemy move power. That's cool. There's a lot of really neat design space in this game's combat system. I like it. Adds effects to successive attacks. So you want to open with that normally. Superfluous tails and other animal parts. Ow. At least she doesn't start at level 1. <laughs> really like that attack. Let's try Hey Hey. is not landing for me though, unfortunately. Walk through the fire, you know you want to. There you go. Man, I almost don't need Ryu now. I just need Nita to put down the fire trap and then Lin to shoot the enemy from behind it. I bet there'll be enemies that can jump over it though or otherwise avoid the damage. Just haven't encountered that yet. Out of my way. Knockback. Is 
she doesn't do a lot of damage herself. Maybe her big benefit is that she has... Um, she can damage safely, so she doesn't need to hit very hard. Party XP. Some question mark item, the nature of which I don't. I know nothing. Oh, it's a gun. Well, what do you know? That was quick. There's something that next looks like a chest, but is not, in fact. That is a mimic. Holy shit. Hermit. Oh, that's cool. It's a hermit crab mimic. Stole my junk. Dick bag. So I can cast two of those and then move Ryu out of the way, maybe. Oh, it costs AP. That's cool. I was trying to figure out why I couldn't always place those things. So the distance at which you can place those is a function how much AP she has, that's really neat. Try doing the stay here move. There we go. I'm gonna get Ryu out of the way when we get a chance here. Nice. Let's reset. Let's do... Can I kick enemies into the fire? Oh, man. Design space. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Really looking forward to playing more of this game. There's some really cool ideas in here. Jolt. How is it jolt? I was learning of Nina's level 1 skill joke. Okay. And I think she keeps that skill. Even if we do a new game plus later on. Preemptive strike that time. Oh wow, it doesn't really take any damage from regular attacks, huh? Green shit. Come on, here we go. Probably can hit with both of these. I can try using Jolt. Okay. Much less damage than the little fire traps, but it's better than nothing, it looks like. It's always a mimic, I guess. Goblin corpses. Helps that the attack button and the uh, open chest button are the same button. I fight in this fight here. Quite a few, it looks like. We want to flee rather than fight them on the extra turns. We can get them to walk into Nina's little fire pillars. So I might be able to cast three of these if I cast them really close to Nina. 
I'm gonna be really close to her though, unfortunately. Brad. Take a couple steps back. I see. So this whole system is not as good when there are multiple enemies that can eat the fire damage, it looks like. That's good to know. Nina still does like the lion's share of the damage, but I'm bound, I can't move over three turns. Let's get Nina somewhere safe here. Oh yeah. I really like that about this game. It seems perfectly designed for that sort of play style. Really? Oh, because I have no AP to place it. That makes sense. Place one like right next to him, maybe. Hope that he walks into it on his way over to me. I think that'll prompt it to take some damage on its way to me, we'll see. They get to act next. Perfect. That's what we wanted to happen. I don't know how I make the bombs explode in this game. There's a way to do it, but I don't know how. Oh, I didn't walk into the fire. Shit. That's bad. Alright, let's use... Aid kit. Yes, please. Thank you. Hey, I hit her in the fire. Fantastic. Nice. Going pretty well. Just try to kill this thing, I think. And then hope Nina's trapped and kill the next one on her next turn. And I think that that probably costs the same amount of AP as it would cost for Nina to physically walk over there, so it's like, you can't do both. There's not one that's cheaper than the other, I should say. It's cool to have targeted abilities that consume more or less AP depending on how far away you set them. Set them off for being close enough. Still haven't found a save token, so we might have to do the other option for saving. Although I think this game might have a quick save option that gets consumed. Oh shit. Demolizer is a dude there. We're about at time for um, Dragon Quarters, so after this battle I'll go ahead and do the quick save and uh, we will switch to Darkest Dungeon. Dragon Quarter will return if uh, Little DPS keeps it as a sub lock game. He's fairly safe after all that. For now, at least. Not for long. Always stealing, man. But she has synergy with, uh... Nina, her ability to knock stuff away. It's really cool. That's too bad. Missing is brutal in this game. Some 
damage there. I might be able to get one in between these two. Just barely. That should keep her safe. Like, I first saw that ability, like, I don't get the point of that. Like, why do I want that? Like, oh, now I see. It doesn't just block them from moving, it makes them take a ton of damage in the process. Pretty grand. Cool. And let's shoot this thing away. It might still be within... Oh, now it's not in melee range of Ryu. Uh, let me use his turn to heal himself then. She's gonna, Nina's gonna get to go, and that should be enough to kill this thing, I think. Hopefully that does it. On the weird spider monster Skraling's turn. Nice. Good job, Nina. Level one up. Hold on to all my party XP for later, I think. Can move the camera with the right stick. Good time to fight you, dude! Save and quit the game. Can't save mid game gameplay data in a danger room. Alright, let me finish this spider thing then. But I think it'll let me out. Move. I don't know if she's able to fit one in between them there. Yeah, I guess so. Cool. Save her leftover AP for her next turn. Shot might cut it if I could do one more. Nice. The dream. Let's rest a little. I don't know what the soul thing means at the bottom of the screen. It appears up occasionally. Might have something to do with the countdown time limit that we're dealing with. Shows up during cutscenes only. She's an angel type thing. Don't even know, I wasn't told. What would you try to protect? Don't think it's worth it. It just seems like it's a giant dungeon. <laughs> it's also a pretty big departure from the rest of Breath of Fire. They're really cool, like, Capcom JRPGs that have unique plots, but they're much more standard fantasy. It's not this, like, sci-fi... Uh, world is a dungeon setting. There's our temp data for next time. Cool guys, we'll be back in a few minutes as I get um, Darkest Dungeon set up. We'll be back soon. Thanks.